There's a muscle in your body that can be responsible for hip pain, knee pain, and lower back pain. And this is because it's quite small, it has a lot of responsibilities, and it's often overlooked in workouts. It's part of the gluteal muscle group, and it's called the gluteus medius. The reason it's so important is because your body is standing on two legs, like on two pillars. Let's imagine you have a building and then you suddenly remove half of the supporting pillars or foundation of that building. You would expect it to topple over. Well, this is exactly what happens every time we take a step. For a brief moment, the body suddenly goes from being on two legs to going onto one leg. And so your body naturally should just topple over and fall down. It attaches on the femur, but also on the hip. So every time we lift a leg and with the imagery of the house, we lose all of those supporting pillars. The gluteus medius is going to tighten and it's going to stop the body from falling to the side. If I lift up my right leg, my body should fall to the right, but then the gluteus medius pinches and strongly contributes to the body not toppling over to the right. So then becoming more aware of this muscle and strengthening it is going to help. Let's look at three different levels of difficulty of exercises we can do. An easy, medium and a hard exercise. And if you know your gluteus medius is weak, I would recommend doing this exercise at least once a couple of times per week and that for a couple of months. Every time I do a full body workout, I try and throw in a gluteus medius strengthening exercise. The first exercise is going to be lying on our side and doing what I call the clamshell. You lie on your side and you bend both knees and then you lift up the knee that's on top all the way to 90 degrees. Try not to rotate your body too much when you do this exercise as you lift up the knee. I would do this maybe three times 10 or three times 15 reps. If you have a resistance elastic, this is even better as this exercise will help you work the gluteus medius even more. The second level of difficulty for the gluteus medius is going to be lying on our side and this time we're going to bend only the knee that is underneath. Then with the leg that's on top, we're going to keep it straight and we're going to make sure there's more or less a straight line in between our heel, hips and shoulders. Now we're going to extend that leg slightly backwards, so 10 to 15 degrees behind that artificial line that we've just created. And then as we bring the leg as high as possible, we're going to make sure we're keeping our foot parallel to the ground and we're going to have controlled movements 10 to 15 times and I would suggest three series of reps. Now for the last level of difficulty, we're going to need to find a step or a ledge where we can hang one leg over. And as we keep the knee that's on the step straight, we're going to try and lower our hips. We're going to keep our body straight so we're not turning, not twisting, and we need to figure out how to let the hip lower while we're on the step without bending the knees. And then we're going to use our hip to lift the leg up and down. Even though the form can be quite difficult for this exercise, when done correctly, it's fantastic for strengthening the gluteus medius. I hope you found these exercises helpful. For more exciting videos or videos where we get to know our body more, follow posturplan.com for more. I'll see you in the next one.